So if you want an absolute bombshell that pretty much seals the deal in Virginia and says that pirate, oh, they are winning and then some, look no further than what dropped today because this, oh, this is something else. See, today we got an article that came with proof, undeniable proof in email form, emails that I've been saying we're going to drop sometime soon. And these emails, they spell out that the Virginia case, it is all but done. See, a certain person that shall remain nameless, they decided to predicate their entire defense in Virginia on the notion they weren't talking about that certain pirate. And yet you can see it laid out in black and white here in the emails. Quote, your lawyer should review this for the way I skirted around talking about your marriage. What's even more impressive about these is these emails, they contain bombshell revelations about the Washington Post article introducing drafts. You can see, hey, my concern is this paragraph. Two years ago, after I got a temporary RO against my then-husband, I felt the full force of our country's wrath for women who speak out. You can tell who this is about. You can tell the parties are coming together trying to not get sued. I mean, this stuff, it is fascinating. And then some, you and I, we're going to check it out today. Mm, Buckle up because this, this is going to be a fascinating ride. So hey there to all you fine, fine folks on this fine, fine day, by the way. And with this article especially, I believe I'm going to need your help. Why? Because despite this article being live, if you look it up in Google, you'll notice JD, it doesn't hit whatsoever. If you look up JD and the Daily Mail, that's where the article comes from. Hey, nothing hits there either. And if you look up that certain nameless person, you have the same thing too. Does not hit at all. So if you would, please share this video far and wide. Make sure everyone knows what's happening. Feed that pesky algorithm. It loves likes, comments, and tacos. That's right. It loves tacos. And also, if you're subscribed to the channel, make sure you're still subscribed. And if you aren't, well, you don't have to. But look at those shiny buttons. Now, the fascinating thing about this article today is this is the first time publicly anyone has seen these emails. Myself, though, I know that there are more emails out there. I know this for a fact because of two reasons. Number one, sources. I've heard about things and I've confirmed things with my own eyes. And, oh, man, some of that is spicy. And also, the transcript of one Eric George. You can see exhibits listed here. Now, the exhibits are not attached, but again, sourcing, I I've seen and I've heard things, and like I said, they are spicy. But you can see the exhibits, they're listed in here. Many and many an email. So yeah, you know those are available. By the way, hopefully this will be approved for public consumption in, say, the next week. Now that being said, the material that is here is absolute bombshell material. I cannot stress that word enough, bombshell material. Why? Because in the courtroom, this is a potential case ender, and outside of it. Well, they say in no uncertain terms, they're utilizing political division to get people to act. They want to take this to Congress to make J.D. the face of the Violence Against Women Act, which, man, think about what that would do to your life. And they give that certain nameless person an ambassador title, which they do appear in the byline, by the way, and they use it for social media promotion. They note the target publications that they want to, and you should look some of these up, by the way, because how How many of them cover it? Quite a few. And it makes you wonder, were they hitting them up behind the scenes? What exactly went on? But let's just read a little bit of this. So, hi, Redacted. I would like yours and that nameless person's thoughts on doing an op-ed in which she discusses the ways in which survivors of gender-based, I'm going to use accosting, even though that is a V word, have been made less safe under the orange man's administration and how people can take action. It can be time for some time after 1114 when it's time to remind a newly elected Congress of their priorities. Her ambassador title could appear in the byline and announced in social media promotion of the piece. In the op-ed, she could argue that it's time to make sure that our leaders take gender Gender-based, again, accosting, even though it's a V, seriously, by highlighting the following. So, again, Congress's delay of reauthorizing the Violence Against Women Act. That would make J.D. the face of that, by the way. You can imagine, again, what that would do to your life. They mentioned an ACLU lawsuit that they have here. That lawsuit, by the way, who does that benefit? Hmm, I wonder. And also, you know, they mention other political items. And they say 
at the end of that is she feels comfortable. She can interweave her personal story saying how painful it is as a gender-based accosting survivor to witness these setbacks. Target publications, they can include digital outlets like, they name all of these places, or papers like the LA Times. Is she interested? If so, we would like to do the first draft there, including a quick interview on the phone to get her thoughts. Or would you prefer that nameless person prefer to start it off? Thanks. Let us know. Always happy to jump on the phone and discuss if it's helpful. Now, other emails, they're not as long, but oh man, these are spicy. This, it's addressed. Hi to that nameless person. Apologies for the delay, but we have needed this to pass through quite a few lawyers first. Please read. This is somebody we don't know, so I'm just going to call them Redacted's Notes below. And let me know your edits. Also, you should show this to your attorney, one from the long list. So they gave them a long list of attorney names. I wanted to make sure nothing was said in here that puts in jeopardy with your NDA or your non-disclosure agreement. The non-disclosure agreement, by the way, that is the agreement between the nameless person and JD saying in no uncertain terms they will not talk about or they won't have articles written about anything that came before their marriage, during their marriage, or after it. Basically, it shuts it all down. This shows you this was about him. This shows you it's a violation. They're trying to skirt it, but they're not doing a good job. That stuff, that is powerful statement. There are also items like this. This is, again, addressed to that nameless person. Hope your travels have been doing great. It was a total pleasure to talk to you. I tried to gather your fire and rage and really interact interesting analysis and shaped it into an op-ed form with mentions of a few policies and a growing movement. I hope it sounds true to you. It's attached. I'm sorry for the delay in getting it to you. Many lawyers have reviewed it here and tweaked the policy bits. Your lawyer should review this for the way I skirted around talk about your marriage. So again, you can see in no uncertain terms, they're trying to skirt that subject. But again, this is a violation of the NDA. Now the emails, they also contain earlier drafts of the op-ed and they have correction notes. The correction notes, that's what I want to focus on here. Why? Because you can tell exactly what this is about. You have some meet and greets basically above this. Then it goes to, you had a brilliant solution for the paragraph about not talking about the marriage. My concern is this paragraph. Two years ago, after I got a temporary RO against my then-husband, I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. The day I left the courtroom and walked into a pack of hundreds of photographers, I didn't have a team of bodyguards. My lawyers used their own bodies to block out space for me to walk to the car. The whole way there, I heard press yelling the same question in one form or another. Is it true you're making all of this up? Could we cut out words like marriage, divorce, RO, and say this below? If we don't say something like, I became a public figure representing domestic, I'm going to use the word accosting, that's another A word, by the way, the rest of this piece doesn't really make sense. It's not clear whether that nameless person's talking about accosting she witnessed as a child, what was the pivotal moment that changed things for her, or why she knows about institutions protecting accused perpetrators. So then they go with another draft here trying to eliminate those words, and you see exactly what they're doing. They're trying to skirt that NDA, and in doing that, well, they're violating that NDA. Additionally, you have items from that nameless person themselves, and they tell you in no uncertain terms they are number one part of this process. Number two, they are also involved in trying to skirt that NDA. Listen to this here. Hey there, by the way, still in my hey there. Oh, not so good. Thank you both so much for all the help you've given me and making sure that this article conveys its message and my voice. This is a typo, by the way, and also doesn't, this is supposed to be further, I would say, complicate an already complicated legal situation. However, there's one part of the final draft that was originally nixed by your team, and I push back on getting some of that language reincorporated back into it, so my voice is still present and it's relevant to my experience. However, there's one piece still missing from the final draft as it stands, That is kind of needed. So they talk about, you know, I want to get on the phone and talk to you about it. 
You can see, again, process, yeah, they're involved in it. Now, there's more, too, much, much more drafts of op-eds and so many other goodies. Let me know. We can go over those in live stream, by the way. But you let me know what you think about this stuff. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. I cannot say that to you enough. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, well, there are links in the description. We have PayPal. We have Patreon. We have memberships. We have merchandise. And yeah, we have you you here. You here. That matters. So let me end by again saying thank you. I do appreciate you. I cannot say that enough. And yeah, until next time, we will see you soon.